Hi, welcome to this session. In this section, we are going to discussing about first Django project creation in Python language. The Python language there is a framework called the Silent, which is a Django. We can call it as. Go to Google and search about Django and hit enter. Now you will see Django, the web framework for uh, perfection with deadlines. All you see here, this is the framework. The Django makes it so easier to build better web apps more quickly and with less code. Very less time code, it's uh, having all ready made functionalities are available with this uh, framework. See now here, so saying that Django is a high level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design. So the experienced developers who are inter contributing here many modules and uh, involving to creating web apps very speed manner with the help of open source. Find more here with the details and uh, popular websites using Django is an uh, that is a uh, Instagram is there and uh, Spotify is there, YouTube and uh, Washington Post is who are uh, built with the Django framework. And also we can say that simple in words, framework defines a structure of our application. Simple terms, we can say that it's a structure of our application. All right. Now to creating a new project, we have to go with the terminal commands to the uh, framework project we have to go to the terminal and hit some of the comments over here now see here is in a project folder now i am going to creating a django framework project now see here this is my terminal here and uh, now i am hitting a command over here now simply i am going to installing a version of 2.1.7 strongly remember may differ like a framework versions may differ the functionality the old versions may deprecate it and new versions new versions may deprecate it of the previous methods and functions and libraries new are involving with the new functionality with the latest framework with the new functionality and all we will see how to uh, install and create a project uh, like uh, using django framework now, first of all, what we need to do is now uh, performing a command is first we need to install a framework in our project. Let's see a simple command EIP space install and a chunk of framework we have to specify to find 1.7 we have to hit and enter. Now you will see here. Collecting the information of Django 2.1.7 version from the web find notes and it will collect the information and it will be off of you it will install the framework with this particular project only you strongly remember that uh, i will tell you the things is uh, very important there is in a local environment you are going to preparing for multiple projects as you can assume it and there you can download and install every independent project wise versions of the framework also you can download and install as you were wish. Where as you know that the prompt of the terminal should be open with that concerned project and you have to download the packages of frameworks and modules and the online libraries, anything. These all are respected to this particular virtual, virtual environment only. All right, now see here the collection of the information regarding that uh, the Django. Like a, D is a silent Django frameworks packages are going to be installing. Now we will see. You will receive a message of successfully installed. Yeah. Now see here successfully installed Django 2.1.7 with this by and 2019 showing the date with the new Python version. And now here your prompt is here. Now in our system as a project we have a prepared for first. The name of the first it is framework is installed installed successfully with this respective of this project now we are going to creating a start a new project like for that we need to use the Django in the command terminal point only 
group space sorry Django hyphen admin space start project start project space and name of the project you have to give here. I'm giving the name of the project. It's an alt Django project. It's the name of the project name is Aishaw. And hit enter. Now you will observe here. Once you refresh these things in the project, you will find out there is a folder called Aishaw. It is created by hitting this command. As you seen here, I have a created one Django framework based skeleton application. It's on a project Django iPhone admin space start project space Python like a PY shop. Right. This is the folder it is created now with the instruction of this command. Right. Now, what is the PY shop it is created and how, what is the skeleton it is how about? You see here by expanding this. See now, this all are created itself. This all are created by itself only. I didn't uh, created anything. As you clearly seen this. Now, like a pie shop is an uh, underscore underscore. It's in a double underscore init file called. It is an in initial file. Initiating this particular project, and uh, here there is a settings module for complete Python, like a Django framework application and Django framework project. What are the global settings? What it should be functional? Those settings and everything will be there in this settings file. You can open it and you can check it. Like installed apps, what are the apps which are going to be installing over here in every module, like admin authentication and the content types and sessions, messages, these all will be treated as an installed apps. Okay, and middleware technologies, if any used here, and uh, templates, if any involving here, these are the things. Okay, we'll see more about a one by one and uh, URLs. So what are the URLs? This is the main important task is the URL module. Means the links, how we are going to be linking with the one form to another form, one page to another form. That all will be rooted with this URLs.py. Alright. Now what you see is in a what's a get module is in a gateway interfaces. The VSDI means like a gateway interfaces and all like payment gateway and SMS gateway, all the information which are going to be outside from the project that will be written in here all right and one more file it is in a manage.py that manage dot py it's in a module file called this is the file for to running the services executing the migrations and the overall complete like a framework settings globalization settings everything will be executed with the help of using this file only like uh, if I want to start my Python server, like a uh, Django framework application server. Now I I'll go to hit and a command is like a uh, let's see here in the terminal point. You have to be here at a terminal point. Yeah. Now hit simply in Python space manage manage dot py. Yeah. Manage dot py space run server. The single keyword on the space run server hit enter. Now you can see can't open the file is the manage.python.php. Let me check the part where is exactly. You identify here. On first there is in a directory we have created one more directory. It is I shop here with the Django framework uh, uh, application here. For that the purpose we need to move inside, move to the I shop place. Yes. Now GIR, the manage.py and everything is available within this the folder. Now here you can hit a command but uh, to run this python space manage.py space run server. Run server. Hit enter. Now the server will start automatically. 
if everything is good, it will be start the application Python server and it will show you where the Python browser you need to hit the URL address. By default, it is in a local environment. It will show you like HTTP 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 is on a default port for Python server. Now, starting development server. Go to the browser and hit this address and we'll check there. 57.0.0.1 colon 8000. Yep, yeah. hit enter. Wow, it's a beautiful Django framework. It's a beautification of the folder. See, this is a local host. You have our opening, our running server. Django is a ready madely, it's a giving a beautification and beautiful page for you. The installation worked successfully. Congratulations. This is the page you are seeing for the purpose of successfully installed your Django framework based project you have successfully created and installed. Practice it thoroughly with the help of this tutorial. Recap it and you will have a good idea to create a simple Django based project. Thank you.